So today, Potter Paths, I am unboxing something truly magical. Hey Potter Paths, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe what I'm about to show you today. I told you it was good in my last video. This product isn't even out yet. It's available for pre-order. I think it's already sold out. But anyway, it is absolutely amazing. You may have seen it on Facebook. It's been floating around the internet, but it honestly is going to blow you away. I haven't unboxed this myself yet. And today we are going to discover this product together for the first time. It involves my phone and it involves something magical, which is in here. Now I'm going to explain all in a minute, but first of all, make sure if you're new to my channel that you do subscribe, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this product, which you're gonna love. And finally, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it. So I'm not sponsored to show you this product today. It's purely been sent to me for free early so that I can show you guys who are the massive target audience for it, just how crazily good it is. I will leave links in the description down below so that if you like it, you can go and buy one yourself. So you may have some ideas as to what this product is. Let me open the box and show you. Does this mean anything to you, Potter Puffs? It may not at this point, but let's appreciate the packaging. This is going to be amazing. So this is a magical photo printer. It's made by a company called LifePrint and they already make these magical photo printers, but normally, they are not Harry Potter related, but this year they have created one which is Harry Potter related. Yes, a Harry Potter photo printer. Could things get any better than that? I already wanted a photo printer anyway, but the fact that it's a magical one just made it even better. Now, not only does this print normal photos, there are so many different things about this product that make it amazing. Firstly, you can use something called Augmented. Is that how you say that word? Who knows? AR technology, which means that you can take a photo, print it out, and on the app, you can see it brought to life. So that is exactly what would happen in the wizarding world, where you see the photos moving exactly like that, but now we can do it ourselves. And that's not even the other best part. The other best part is the fact that it's got built-in filters so you can put Harry Potter effects on your photos, print them out, and then watch them move. We need to get straight into this because think of all the potential here. It's packaged in a beautiful, beautiful box. An owl would have just dropped that on the Hogwarts table for me. And on the front, it seems to have a picture of, I think it's the Hogwarts Express. It's a train track and it says, use the hyperphoto viewer to scan this image and watch it come to life. Now, maybe the first thing I need to do then is set up my live print account. Now you'll be able to download the app on the app store. You can see the live print app right there. I'm going to click that now and I'm going to sign up. So it actually tells you to turn on your printer first. So I'm going to unbox the printer and then we will get stuck into the app. Okay, so Hogwarts Owl Delivery. I love little touches like this. So it says Muggle News Delivery, please disenchant box before sending and then it's got the Hogwarts Crest logo so I'm guessing when you order one of these this is how it would be packaged and that is absolutely gorgeous I love the design of that it's simple but very magical it's got a little owl post service sign this is adorable so I have a magical piece of parchment and this is to give me some more information about what I'm showing you guys today so it's going to be out on October the 22nd so not long and as I said earlier the pre-orders have already started it will retail at uh, I think it's in dollars so $149.99 dollars and all of these photo printers they cost around that so you're not paying any more than you would normally it's bubble wrapped up nicely and it's a lovely little size actually. I've never had a photo printer. This is a new thing to me and let's look at the packaging first of all. So we have, I think I've got the white one with gold, which is the one I would have chose. That's awesome. They do a black and gold version and then on the back, you can actually customise this printer with four different house crests. So obviously Hufflepuff will be going straight on, but that is a really magical little touch. You have got a um, gallery on the app so that you can add filters. We just need to get this open. 
and then let's have a look wow it's so cute i need to get like the carry case for this So it's packaged like this. We've got a few bits in the box. So let's first of all, take out the printer. So it's gold on the back, which is lovely. And then on the front, we have got the Hogwarts castle. We have got the normal Hogwarts crest, but it's actually a little bit different. You've got more close-ups. You've got close-ups of the house mascot. And then you have got, it's like a white kind of textured effect which is really really nice on the top we've got some buttons and little ports and then at the bottom that's where your photo will come out so i have got this charged earlier i got john to charge it for me so i didn't have to look at it but it was all ready to go and then we also have in the box the cute little photo prints to come out these are really cute little size actually i think they're a bit smaller than i expected but they all look so nice we have a little manual we have got a little quick start guide as well and it tells you to download the app which i've already done turn on printer and connect it via bluetooth open the live print app and have fun and customize your house easy peasy right so we've got a little cable here as well and the house medallion so let's put one of these on so let's have a little look at these and i believe you will just peel off the back yeah, I think they are just sticky, so I'm going to stick that right now in the little hole. There we go, it is customised for a Hufflepuff. The first step is done, so we've got the printer out. I'm now going to turn it on. Right, Potter Puffs. So I'm looking at the instructions and I'm about to set it up. So the first thing you have to do is slide the lid towards the back of the printer to open, unpack included photo paper and insert with the blue smart sheet facing down. Now at the moment, I'm going to lift it off and that's what it looks like inside. Now let's unpackage a tiny little bit of photo paper. So you have to put the blue zinc paper at the bottom, but you can't touch it. And then we're going to replace the lid. There we go. And it's now flashing. It's all ready to go. So now I need to pair this with my phone. So you turn on your Bluetooth, which I have already on. And then you have to wait for the device to appear in your list. Now I'm no expert with things like this, but I'm hoping it's going to work in a minute. Now I need to sign up. So I'm going to do that right now. So then it will ask you for some of your personal details and it's looking a bit magical from the offset. So I can think that maybe the app changes depending on which printer you have, maybe. I have of course chosen my username as the Hufflepuff Queen. It's like a community. Oh, this is cool. A bit like Instagram in a way and you can set it to private or public. I'm gonna set it as public so you can share and comment with other people. So that's absolutely cool. So I'm going to do that. Pick a profile photo. Hmm. I'm going to set myself at Hogwarts as my profile picture for now. So that is saving. Ooh, and then you choose your house. I love little touches like this. It assumed I was a Hufflepuff. Maybe it knows from my printer, but I don't know how it would from me sticking something on. So it's going to be hard to show you Potter Puffs, but basically, I can take videos with a range of Harry Potter filters. So look at this. I'm gonna take one right now. And I'm wearing Luna's glasses. You can't see it, but I am. So I have just created Potter Puffs, my first little video. It's like the filters you would get on Instagram and Snapchat, but they are Harry Potter related. So here you go. Isn't this so cool? I'm Luna, it looks amazing. And the great thing about this is I will have the physical photo, but then I am able to watch it back through the magical app. So I am able to choose from any second in the video which frame I'd like to use. So Potter Puffs, I have decorated my first video. I have got some little Hufflepuff emblems and owl. You can basically do what you do in Instagram where you can put on loads of different filters. You can change loads of things and you can put little borders on. It looks so, so cool. 
and I'm going to try and print this now. It is a video, as you saw earlier, so you can play it. I pressed print, and it should be now uploading and in the queue. See, it's now sending it over to the printer, which should hopefully start making a bit of noise in a minute. Here it comes. I don't know how quickly the pictures dry. Oh my goodness, the suspense. And there we go. Pull it out here. That is so cute. It's got all the borders that I put on. So I put on a movie border, a Hufflepuff emblem, a little owl, and I adjusted the contrast and little things like that to make it look a bit different. Now, what should happen, and guys, I'm not an expert yet, is I should be able to make some magic happen. Now, let me show you the magic coming to life. So here is the photo up close it's really cute and now let's get my phone involved <gasps> how magical is that and as i move it the video is still playing just like it would in the wizarding world that is absolutely incredible how that works you can see the photo in the background but you can also see everything i'm doing so i am now on the hyperphoto viewer Woo! And let's hold up the hyperphoto. Oh, what's going to happen? <gasps> wow. That is so, so clever. Oh my god. Just watching that is amazing. So, any photos you do, you can edit right here. And then stickers. And look at all of the Harry Potter stickers that you can use. So you've got owls, you've got flags, you've got emblems, you've got the Deathly Hallows, you've got Death Eater ones. So many to choose from. Here's a Dementor. You can literally put that anywhere on the image. It works really, really well. You can use a frame. There's a movie one. They all look really good. And I think they would set off your image really, really nicely. You can add any text you want and then they've got the colours so everything can be changed and adjusted there. I love this cute little dark mark. So I might put that in the bottom corner here. Adjust the contrast. So there's so much you can do. You can make it have a really ghostly atmosphere, that photo. And then you have also got all of your filters. So there, there's so many different options on here. You really just need to have a play around. I'm really impressed with the amount of customization there is. And I can't wait to create some more amazing images. So not only are you able to print Harry Potter style photos, but you've got all of the original filters, which are similar to the ones you get on other social medias. And you also have all of the original type filters that you get on Snapchat, Instagram. So you can do so many different things, not just Harry Potter options. They are like extras. You've got loads of different customization options. As I said earlier, it's very easy to take around with you. And then you've got these beautiful little photos which have sticky backs so you can stick them into scrapbooks things like that i've got like a little washing line type thing with little pegs which i'm going to peg up all of my beautiful new photos so that's the printer make sure you look out for it when it comes out on the 22nd of october let me know what you think of it in the comments down below i think it's a really clever piece of technology that does work very very well and also if you do get it make sure you message me on instagram and maybe we can send photos to each other how fun would that be now there won't be a video this sunday guys but there'll be another one very soon i'm going to try icon I've been filming a Halloween vlog. I also need to put up my studio tour vlog. So there's lots of videos coming and I will see you very soon. Have an amazing rest of the week.